a lot of legends about Louisiana State University. There's one about how former Governor Huey P. Long helped expand Tiger Stadium by convincing the legislature to add dorm rooms complete with bleacher seating. There are the underground tunnels that connect many of the buildings on campus. And there's a story about the ghost who haunts Pleasant Hall. But what about how the Tigers got to wear purple and gold? For starters, a lot of LSU's history is tied to the Civil War. Originally established as the Louisiana State Seminary of Learning and Military Academy in 1860, it was quite some time before the old war school was worried about making school cheer a priority. Still, Colonel David F. Boyd, after whom a campus building is named, served as president of the university from 1865 to 1880, and again between 1884 and 1885. In his time there, he chose the colors blue and white to represent LSU. But the school didn't allow team sports until 1893, and it wasn't until the teams were in their fourth season that anyone became known as the Tigers. In a piece for the New York Times, University of Louisiana at Monroe professor Terry Jones explained that that nickname was chosen because the school's first football coach, Dr. Charles E. Coates, was told about an especially tough group of Civil War fighters, the Louisiana Tigers. By 1896, the name stuck. Now, if the colors were originally blue and white, how did they make the jump to purple and gold? One story notes that Charles Coates III, the football coach's grandson, can remember his grandmother telling stories about how she'd sew uniforms for the Louisiana soldiers fighting in the Civil War. Decorative colors on them were purple and gold. Also curious, a flag presented to the 7th Louisiana Regiment in 1883, a full decade before LSU played football, was described as being made of purple silk and fringed in gold. But still, there's another big source to consider, Dr. Coates himself. In a piece written by Coates and sent in 1937 by his grandson to the LSU alumni newsletter, Coates described getting the team and fans ready for a November 25th, 1893 game they'd play against a team comprised of players from Tulane and the Southern Athletic Club. Coates wrote that he and future Louisiana Governor Ruffin Pleasant went to Raymond's store on the corner of 3rd and Main in downtown Baton Rouge to stock up on ribbons. Trouble was, nobody knew what the school's colors were. Happily, Raymond's was getting ready for Mardi Gras in a few months. The traditional carnival colors are purple, green, and gold. But as Coates wrote, the green had not yet come in, so they bought all the purple and gold ribbon they could find. LSU had some festive fans for that tradition setting game, but the team, eh, not so good. LSU got creamed, but don't take my word for it. In Coates' essay, he wrote this. Our team didn't compare with present day teams in skill, ability, or power, but we had a pretty good time, and if there was any professionalism involved, I never heard of it. Do you have Louisiana questions? We've got Louisiana answers. Submit your questions about life, history, and politics in Louisiana by emailing latitude at nola.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at latitudebynola.com. I'm Chelsea Braystead, and thanks for watching.